Uh, my name is Yannick Binder, I'm 30 years old, and uh, I was born in the U.S., grew up in uh, France and Germany, and I currently live in the United States. Uh, I've been a self-employed wildlife photographer, wildlife and travel photographer, uh, before I came here, and I still am. So, I was already working in nature, um, and uh, guiding has been my way of spending more time uh, out here and uh, being able to be out here uh, for extended periods of time rather than short trips, which is, I find quite good to learn more, get the story uh, photo-wise, and uh, get used to a, a place. So I've been a wildlife photographer for over 11 years now. Um, and I think my love for African wildlife started uh, probably around 15 years ago on my first ever trip to the Okavango Delta. That's where I fell in love with the bush. Ironically, I heard about eco-training uh, while on a trip to Svalbard in the Arctic to photograph uh, polar bears and I uh, met some people who knew about eco-training and told me about it and told me it was a good way to uh, get my foot in the door for the guiding industry. So that's how I heard about it and then a few months later I was on the year-long course. Um, yeah, the year-long course was uh, excellent. I'd say you get out of it what you put in and uh, I like to think I put a lot into it and uh, it's the amount of knowledge you get from it is fantastic and you the, uh, the experiences you get are even more ex excellent <laughs> so uh, before I did the uh, year-long course uh, with eco training I would uh, save up money and then travel a few a few weeks, maybe a month out of the year. Um, and uh, this is this is my way of spending more time out in the bush with uh, the subjects and the landscape that I like to photograph. Well, my plans are to uh, continue incre improving my guiding qualifications. Uh, I'm currently working up towards uh, lead trails guide. And uh, outside of that, I plan on putting together some photo expeditions and photo workshops and uh, continuing on uh, my career as a photographer as well. Well, you always leave a little piece of you out here in the bush, so it, uh, it has changed my life uh, quite drastically in the sense that I live more for the moments that bring me out here, the moments, that, the experiences that I get out here, uh, and uh, I start feeling more like my, I start feeling more like myself when I'm out here rather than when I'm back home. tips for, for future students. Yeah. Um, mm. Well, like I said, you get out of this course what you put into it, so if you're going to treat it like an extended holiday, yeah. you might have some fun for a few months, for a year, depending on which course you do, but you're not going to have lasting experiences that will form you that will, that will become part of who you are and uh, so I'd say in terms of advice put into it everything you got take the course as seriously as you can and, and uh, inspire yourself and inspire and then in turn inspire others to care and to protect this beautiful nature we got out here.